Hey guys, welcome back. I am Golden Knight. I'm bringing you another episode of Penumbra Black Plague. So where we left off is we have these... Oh, okay, look at that. You can't pick them up. So we have these cards, which we obviously need to use with the manual to return power so I can use this computer, because I can't use the computer now. I don't think there's anything that's going to come busting through at me now, because the last episode there was a dude that got chucked stuck in here. I think he's calmed down now. Perhaps all he wants is a hug. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have walked Let up to that door. Out. That was a dumb idea. So anyway, so what we got here is we got a boot network in, uh, interface. Ooh, the ZX25 chipset. Amazing! Let's read all about this. Um, for use with M-Tech computers. Okay, that's all we got there. Uh, so, we have a manual here. Uh, let's go to my notes. Computer manual. So you have the boot network and interface here, and it tells you kind of what it does. Uh, collates basic disk drive and hardware configuration data, uses advanced communication drivers to allow access to any local internet or intranet or hub network. Comes with all the latest security protocols. Carries all pro uh, the interface uh, carries all programs required in server and file ac uh, access, in addition to high-level direct hardware access. So it looks like it shows you um, what each thing does here. So it looks like we have like a puzzle because what I have to do is I need to boot everything on. So I'm gonna have to go back and forth here to get this to turn on because obviously this is what we got here. We got circuit set up, disk. So we have to I have to do each one of these or something with this. I have to do something with this. I don't know exactly what. So give me a minute to like figure things out. I might have to write things down. Um, but yes, I will be right back. Okay, guys, so uh, what I came up with is it looks like here. I'll, actually, I'll bring up the thing and I'll show you my list that I made. So in the computer manual, in the computer manual, it states there's uh, circuit cards. There's programs for every circuit card. So for the Bert, boot, the Bert, <laughs> the Bert card, the boot card has three programs associated with it. Network has five. Interface has four. Each card requires the circuit setup to get it to work. So that's one program on all of them. So that would count for one. So each one, this has two, this one has four, and this one has three. So here's the uh, here's the list I made. I don't know if you can see it, but that's it right there. And what it says is, so for the red card, it's gonna do the circuit, the disk, wait, hold on. So for the boot card, it will be the circuit setup, the disk info setup, and the hardware locator. The network card should be the circuit setup, um, the socket protocol, the firewall, the antivirus, and the net locator. And then the interface should be the circuit setup, the command interface, or the CMD interface. This is a Windows machine, so it does use CMD. Uh, the file streamer and the admin tools. So if I load these programs on here to the correct cards, it should work. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, so we got this card first. Boop. So we got circuit setup. Okay, so we only can do one at a time. So, so we got circuit setup, disk info, and hardware locator. Compile. And then you will have to grab this. And we just stick it right on in over here. Just like that. So the next one is the blue one, which is network, and I believe I marked that correctly. Yes, I did. Let's go ahead and do that card. Yeah. So put that one in there. What the fuck? Let's get the shit out of me. I think he did that on purpose, that dickhead. All right, so we got the blue card, the socket protocol. The firewall, the antivirus, and the net locator. Compile. Boop -a -doop -a -doo. In with you. And the last one is the interface card. Oh. Ah! It's a fucking tool. So we got the circuit set up. The command interface, the file streamer, and the admin tools. So, 
I hope I did this right. We'll find out, because something will happen here. Power's on! Look at that! So I did it right. That was a much more difficult puzzle. Now I can access this. So we're going to go ahead and hit the save, and then we'll access that computer. Which is the whole purpose of doing that, I believe. What that dude would like... What the hell? What is this thing? Well, that's gross. I thought he'd like would throw his arm out here or something, but he didn't. I guess I'm wrong there. Okay, current operations. Um, water cave pick. Okay. Tomb pick. Wow. Tomb text. Uh, Xeon research background findings. The book of the worker's responsibility of a language team. Chief translator. The tomb was home of uh, some form of or ancient organism. Man, weeks approximately 27 material. Wow. That was expensive. Oh, uh, what we got here? Cave. Construction. Artifacts. Another artifact discovered. Um, expenses. Man, weeks. Wow, they've been working down here for a while. Hostile local fauna levels. As constantly entertaining as it might seem to have access to memories one has no recollection of receiving, it also places me in somewhat of a predicament. This saboteur, for some reason, he conjures in my mind the color red. Okay. Door lock. Door ID. Uh, I don't have any door IDs. Um, do I have any notes on door IDs? Hold on, let me check this out really quick. Uh, we'll see if there's anything in here. No. Water cave. Uh, got nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, chief staff, total population, elevated case. Um, no. I'm assuming the door ID will be outside the door. The door leading to the library locked by a palm and iris scanner. Palm and iris. Well, that's fantastic. All right, let's go back really quick. Yeah, I don't see anything else here. So let's go ahead. Uh, looks like we're done here for now. So let's go ahead and save one more time just so I have all that stuff saved in my notes. It looks like I need to find the door IDs. So those doors that are locked over here, I bet you I can unlock them. And let's just hope there's nothing out here to chase me. And I forgot to stop my, start my clock, so I'm going to have to guess where I am. Uh, yeah, it doesn't tell me a time. Okay. Oh. Hello. I don't know if that guy walks around here. Door ID, door ID. Either way, I'm not going to get through. Okay, I don't see any door IDs here. Okay. Alright, so I don't see any door IDs there. So let's look around. Ah, here we go. Door four. Door three, door two. So let's go on over. We got lots of doors here. So those rooms, I came from room 8. So let's go to down this hall to room 2. I wonder if room 2 is even open. Alright, let's go ahead and try door indicator 2. And let's just see if that works. Because that is definitely door 2. Yeah, I don't know if some of these doors you can't access or what, so we're just going to find out together. Door ID 2. Okay. Let's try Canteen, I think was the name. C-A-N-T-E-E-N. 
valid. Let's try it in all caps. C-A-N-T-E. Okay, well, that was a fail. Ah, run on back. So, uh, maybe some of the doors we can't get into. Uh, we do have door one down there. So let's go ahead and go over that way. This door is locked. The door won't open. There doesn't seem to be a lock. ID is 303061. Uh, so that's why I needed to do that. Gotta be careful. Every time something good happens, bad things happen. Aha! The infirmary! That sounds terrible, actually. Where they're gonna bring the infected. Well, actually, you're not supposed to bring the infected anywhere. You're probably... Probably, you're supposed to lock yourself in the room, which means you're probably gonna get murdered. Okay, what we got here? Did you hear that? sound like robots. So, let's see what's in these. Up ah, flare! Smack myself in the face with that thing. Um, yeah, everything's broken, we know. Okay. Oh. Can't remember the last time I. What was that noise? Aha! Another safe spot! So look at that. Yeah. Oh, we got a note here. Cryostasis usage. Fair use of, Okay, stay large. Okay, cryostasis fines. Acceptable cause of use of the cryostasis Philly. An overseer is elevated case member. Any lower case member, archaic holding, vital, critically ill, and injured. Uh, infected with the non terra virus. Uh, access strictly forbidden. Ton, not. Okay. Okay, okay. Cryostasis, whatever. What else we got? Anything good? Nothing good. So let's go ahead and save again. So we're doing really good. So there's obviously something going on here. Oh, and can we video chat? A Swanson! Christ, you look worse than the last time I saw you. Though maybe you're just at a higher resolution. Oh, damn it. Note to self, never insult your last hope of survival. I just wanted to give you a word of advice. Those creepy artifacts, we don't know how they work. Or even what they do, I suppose. We, well, I saw someone get too close to one once. You probably don't want to know. I'm sure you'll be fine. Probably. I hope. But by the way, if you happen to find yourself in my neck of the woods, about the safe spots. I'm kind of trapped. It's no big deal, really. Just throwing it out there. Oh no! That's hardly true. They're really completely harmless. Come on, it's just like wrapping yourself up in a warm blanket. Huh? Okay. Chemical stuff. Holy crap. Uh, the primary is worn out. Please consider this an official uh, work position order to further test subjects from the mainland. Okay. That might prove useful later, I guess? Uh, there's no expert. Some strange spots on the spinal. No, what is that? Okay, something is whatever. Uh, some drugs here. Oh, oh, it's locked. That's okay. What? Oh, I'm too weak to pick this up. Now here we go. Your mind space is muddled in a line. See here. A is for alliteration. B is for bohemian. C is for carcin carcinogen carcinogen carcinogenic. So many long words taking up space in my new home. Here, let me do a little spring cleaning. Uh-oh. There. You didn't need the periodic table, did you? Oh, no, not at all. Not in this game. All right, let's hit the save, and I got a jar. Or something. This guy's a real dick. Hmm. Maybe that bucket will do something. Right. Oh, look. Let me just relax here. Uh, dating back 50 years. Alright, what we got over here? Uh, the screen means non-human sample. Insert new sample and try again. What? I'm non-human? 
what the hell is going on with me? And what's this? Emergency wristband. Okay. I don't know what that's for. Let's do this. Okay, I don't know what the wristband's for, but we put it on. Bottle of viscous somnus. Oh, wait. Uh, Visque somnus. Hold on. That is in our notes. Boop. No, no, that's not the one I wanted. This one. Oh, here we go. Uh, following injection, the subject's heart rate slows to such a rate that, for all intents and purposes, it appears dead. In truth, heart rate has dropped to incredibly a safe level, and the subject recovers soon after. Okay. I don't know why I need that, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Try no, no, just in case. It's securely locked. Can I bust my way in? Uh, let's see. The door of the crowd chamber is locked. Great! Let's try throwing something at it. Okay, that's not happening. So how do I get into the cryo chamber? What the hell? Okay, I don't know what that did. Light switch going somewhere. No, it's me nothing. Can I break this stuff? Hold on, there's some panels here. Let's see if I can break any of these. Okay, that didn't work. Is there any more? There's another one over here. There we go. Ah! What do I do to this thing? Wait. Uh-oh. Why would I do this? Oh, we're gonna get on the bed. Oh, it's nap time! Okay, I don't know why I'm doing this. But we're gonna take a nap. The best nap. Hmm. Yeah, so I have no idea why I did that. What the hell? What was the point of that? Okay, I don't know what happened there. But that's awesome. Maybe it was locked for a specific amount of time. We got lots of stuff over here. Uh, reads 200 degrees Celsius. It's okay, that's cold for this place. So we got ourselves some weird freezer here. So let's go ahead and open this. Because I know I'm going to be running out of time here. But maybe we can solve one more. What's this? A uh, small cryo chamber. Whoa! That's a head. Oh! What the hell? Why the hell is there a head in there? This is button jump. Okay, so we are going to stop right here. I have no idea why someone would have froze their own head. Maybe it's because they were diseased and they wanted to get cured later. Or maybe it's something like Futurama. I don't know. But we will find out in the next episode, hopefully. I know we can use that head for the eye thingy, but now we need a hand. So we'll have to look around for a hand. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, huzzah!